Hello guys and welcome to C Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. In the previous tutorial we discussed about the scanf function. Today in this tutorial we will discuss about scanf modifier that is the modifier which we can use with the scanf. So there are three modifiers and we can use this modifier with the format specifiers and these three modifiers are optional. So we can write this modifier with the format specifier like this. We need to write first the percentage token then followed by star. This is the suppression character followed by the width followed by the size or we can say the length modifier. Next here conversion character. The size modifier is used to modify the data type specified by the conversion character. So there are four different size modifier similar to the printf function. H for short int, L for long int, LL for long long int and capital L for long double. Because it is same as printf function size modifier we won't discuss about this. Next width. The printf function modifier also contains width. But the scanf width modifier and the printf width modifiers are different. So we'll see that. In scanf width modifier specifies the maximum character width to be read or we can say the width of the input. We can write width like this percentage phi d. So the total input width will be phi. So I'll show you the example. I'll take int n1 and float n2. So we'll take so percentage D so here we didn't use any width modifier so if I save this and run this if I enter one two three four it will take the input if I enter 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 it will take the input it will take the input of any width but if I mention percentage 3d the width so the input length will be 3 so I'll save this and run this if I enter 1 2 3 4 5 and if I enter it will take 1 2 3 only if I take 1 2 and enter it will take 1 2 but the maximum width is 3 here you can take 10 or any value here for the float I'll take float n2 So if I take 12.5678 and enter, it will take only 12. It will take only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, so next. So scanf will read either as many characters are specified by the width modifier or until it sees the white space. So that is nothing but now here we can see scanf contains only one format specifier and we have only one variable to store the entered value right now if I execute this and if I enter the input as 1 comma 2 comma 3 that means we are entering three value space will separate the value right here we are entering three value if I enter it will take only one okay two three are ignored. So scanf will take the input until it sees the white space or the based on the width modifier. Alright, so next about the suppression character, the star symbol. So the suppression character is used to skip the input field. We can write it between the percentage and conversion character. The scanf read the input field but for suppression character value is not assigned. So I'll show you the example for that.
we need to enter four values and here we can enter like this okay it will enter the values right now if i use this suppression character for example i'll use here so percentage and here i'll use that so i used this separation character in two format specifier right and now i'll execute this and i'll enter the input 1 2 3 4 so here we can see 1 and 4 are taken okay 2 3 is not stored in the variable here we can see the some different value only 1 and 4 are stored in the variable that is stored in n1 and n2 so here what happened is here when the suppression character is present scanf will read the input but it won't store that in the variable that's why when i enter 1 that will be stored in n1 when i enter 2 scanf will read that but it won't store that in n2 again same happens with 3 when i enter 4 it is percentage d so it will store that in n2 because i didn't enter any input to n3 and n4 we didn't store any value here that's why we got some garbage value or different value so this is about the suppression character suppression character allows us to skip the input field okay so this is about the scanf modifier so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care